This is Carl at National RV Detroit. I'm going to walk you through this Sandpiper uh, 399 LOFT. It's a destination trailer or a lot unit or whatever whatever term you prefer. Okay. So I'll quickly go around the outside. Most of the stuff to see is on the inside. So you got two 30-pound LP tanks with an automatic changeover regulator, deep cycle marine battery. Okay. Plenty of slide rooms. So, <clears throat> you get a 50 amp cord, 30 feet long, and the reducers to reduce it down. Outside shower, um, city water connection, if you want to, you know, which is generally what you use to, to get water to your trailer. But if you, there's an outboard uh, tank also, you could fill that here if you happen to live somewhere or camp somewhere where there's not city water, okay? Um, this is the black tank flush. When you want to flush out your black tank, you open the valve, um, the gate valve, and then you uh, put a hose on there, turn it on, and it'll spray out the inside of your black tank for you. Okay, this is your water heater. It's a 10-gallon water heater. Keep in mind that there's a switch here, if you can see it, for the electric heating element that's behind here. So if you want to turn that on, um, that's where you turn it on. Now you can see there's the plug, the drain plug there. Right now this is empty and the trailer's winterized. So oops, keep that in mind that uh, that um, it has to be dewinterized. Never run the water heater unless you uh, are sure that there's water in the water heater tank. That's important, okay? Um, the switch to light on gas is inside. Let's see what we got back here. Whoops. So those are your valves in there. Your dump valves, black, gray, black and gray. You generally dump the black one first and then the gray ones because, because the gray water, which is sink and shower water, is cleaner than the black water, which is obviously toilet water and waste. Okay. And another slide room, of course. And then these are your hookups here for campground uh, satellite or campground cable or antenna, whichever you, an antenna, whichever you use. Uh, you have a, a ladder going up, which is great because you want to inspect the roof of the trailer. Uh, every 90 days or so, have somebody go up there and take a look at it, make sure there's no issues with the, with the sealant on the roof, there's no cracking, no separation. Um, make sure that uh, no branches are damaged. The material, things like that. Just have them take a good look around. That's important to do. I'm going to make sure I got gas on when I before I go in there. Okay, so we do. Let's go inside. Now, of course, your uh, glass sliding doors. There is a a uh, a really nice stair that's inside the trailer that hooks on there. Um, so. Once you're settled in, you can you put that on and you're all set. This is also obviously speakers, and this is an antenna out here and a power, so you could you could put a TV out here if you wanted to also. All right, and you have a power awning with an LED LED light also. Okay, so we'll go in the back door here because the steps aren't set up. As you can see, the steps are right here for your sliding doors. The screen for your sliding doors is underneath the mattress. Okay, and this this is obviously pretty pretty self-explanatory. It's a, for the bedroom. This this is your TV hookup here. Um, you want to get a nice bracket if you're going to put a TV in here. It should always be green like that. You can shut it off, but that's that's the the lock for the or that that's the power for the uh, for the um, digital antenna. Okay. Also, with through these sliding doors, this this is plum for washer dryer. As you can see right there, so it's all set, ready to go. If you wanted to add something like that, otherwise you can use it as a closet. All right, so comes through this way. Uh, might as well go right in order. So has a loft. As you can see, it's a big one. Okay. And it has, these are obviously TV hookups over here, and that sort of thing, power. So it's got a nice size loft.
Next we have the bathroom. Now the bathroom works like any other bathroom except for the toilet of course. So um, you do have an exhaust fan you want to run that with the shower to pull the humidity out for sure. But let's see here. Get some light here. There's no water hooked up right now. That's antifreeze in the in the toilet. But directly below us is the black tank. And the thing to know if you haven't owned one of these before, here's the flush pedal here. You can see, that's the black tank down there. So if water was hooked up right now, it would come swirling around and go down into the black tank. So the, the rule of thumb is you can't use the black tank. You can't use the toilet when the black tank is empty. So uh, what you do is, you, you'll, after you've hooked up to the water and power, you'll step on this pedal, water will come swirling out, and you put about a gallon or so into the black tank. Okay, and once you've done that, you're set till, till the next time you dump it, of course, you'd have to, if you're going to use it, repeat that procedure, just put a gallon of water in there and um, some chemical. Okay. All right. So, living area, here's your control panel here. So you have light switches up here, of course. Um, to your water pump, if you need it, is there. Your water heater switch for gas is right there. Remember I showed you the electric switch is, um, is on the water heater itself in the lower left-hand corner. Also, uh, I'm going to tell you again, make sure you put water in the tank after you dewinterize this trailer. Get it ready for camping. Fill the tank up before you turn it on. Okay, so you, you've got your slide outs here, okay, um, uh, or slide outs here, and then you have your, your awning. Uh, you have a power awning. Just remember, don't leave the awning out unattended. If you're not going to be at the site, then uh, roll it in so it doesn't get damaged by the weather, the wind especially. Uh, you can check your levels here, of course. Black tank, gray tank, second gray tank, uh, fresh water tank, battery here. That should be charged. Okay, so it graduates up in one third increments. When you get past two thirds, you got to start thinking about dumping the black and the gray tank. Okay, alrighty. Refrigerator is self explanatory. This is just a travel lock here. Obviously, you want that on there when you're traveling so the doors and drawer doesn't come flying open and get dented. Um, okay, this device down here is a carbon monoxide and LP gas detector. So if it goes off, you want to go outside, shut the gas off, and figure out what's going on, of course. Um, let's see what else we have. I'm dying. I keep hearing this noise off in the distance. It's preoccupying me here. I don't know what it is out there. It's outside. The wind It's really windy, so I imagine something blowing around out there. Okay. You got a um, pantry here with drawers and shelves. Uh, your... Um, Range works. The the thing is, we ju it just turned on the gas, so I, it might take a minute to get the gas up there. I guess I should have done that ahead of time. But whenever you first turn on the gas, if there's been off, there you go. So what I did is is there's two there's two moves you have to make. You turn it to the to the on, then you depress it, and then you spark it. And then you hold it in for a minute, and then you'll go to the whatever temperature you or whatever. Yeah, whatever temperature you want, and then back to off. The oven, it's, it's self-explanatory in the sense that it does the same, the same thing. Um, and you can, uh, this, this side here is a timer. It's got a digital readout and all that. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Looking at something up here. Those are your wheel covers for when you're, we just don't put them on because they'll get all pitted and sitting on the lot. Um, so you got a TV. Uh, a, a remote control TV, a remote control for your TV, a remote control for your radio sound bar, and a remote control for your fireplace. All right, so the TV works like any other TV, of course. With with uh, the sound uh, uh, AV thing, you can you can put a, a disc in here, a CD or a DVD. You got a USB port here to stream off a USB. You can hook up wirelessly and and uh, with using Bluetooth with your phone or tablet, whatever you have. And then there's different speaker zones, A, B, C. A is here, B is, I'm sure B is the bedroom, and C would be outside. Um, so it, there's a lot you can do with it. Uh, considering you're going to... Okay, let's see here. So this is the fireplace remote here. 
Right now it's on, of course. You can change the look of the flame. Let me see here. So, you see here, these, this is the fan speed here. Right now it's on high. I think you can see that, hopefully. Low, high. So, that's the, this is a space heater function. It has a fan in it. Okay. You also can set the thermostat on it, right? You can, um, you can, uh, it's got a timer, so you can set it to come on and go off whenever you want. If you get up at the same time every morning, you could, you could, uh, set the timer to turn on 20 minutes before you get up to take the chill out of everything in here. So, um, and also, like I said, you can adjust the, the pick, the, the, uh, flame itself, make it look, uh, um, different, uh, configurations more realistic and then you can do different things with it excellent so anyway um, okay so I'm sorry so here I'm, I'm mesmerized by the, the fire here so um, thermostat back here it's pretty straightforward you just hit the the um, mode button which is the bar going across and then you select fan which is the air conditioner running without the compressor you can select cool which is the air conditioner low high and auto you always want to stick with auto if you can and then of course the next one is the furnace and uh, so that's, that's that works like every other thermostat okay let me look around here obviously you have a fan this uh, couch, you can pull the cushions off the back, grab it right down here, and fold it out, and put the legs down, and you got a three-panel hide-a-bed, which is another place people can, can sleep, of course. So that's nice, and then you got the two theater seats. Okay, so let me walk back through, make sure I didn't forget anything. So this, this, this thermostat's for the front. Yeah, this is probably designed into two zones, zone one and two, I would imagine. Okay, so, yeah, I think we've got it all. Um, let me swing back around here. So, right now the trailer is winterized, so that means the water heater is in bypass, and the uh, uh, system, all the lines and have, uh, all the plumbing has antifreeze in it, so you have to, you have to dewinterize it, of course, if you haven't had one of these before once it, we get past the point of where there's a chance of freezing. Um, also, uh, remember what I said about inspecting the roof periodically. Every 90 days is what they, what they, they uh, suggest, but the bottom line is you just, just, you just get inspected a couple times a season, whatever, so you, you're always sure that it's good and tight, okay? All right, well, thank you very much for purchasing your trailer here at National RV Detroit, and... Um, if you have any issues, you just let us know and we'll, we'll take care of you. Thank you.